I've heard of you, Vadim. Baba Yaga's sorcerer. Some people say you're a bit of a witcher. You have magic, but I don't think you have magic at all. I think you're just a big, old, sad, post-traumatic stress disorder baby. Post-traumatic stress disorder baby. And I still have the saliva stone of Pavlov, and you must know that not all it can do can change Baba Yaga's stool into a world, to a crazy spectrum of color and ideas you never know. I know I'm a child, but my voice gets low. That's another property of the soul. It has all the memories of my ancestors. My forefathers and foremothers and forebabushkas. And for Prom Petrushka and Matrushka doll. It's an everlasting nest. Each layer of saliva has a different Let's get down to brass tacks. There is no energy metal game. That's what my father told me to say. If this day should ever come, if you should come walking into the woods on your chicken leg castle. If I don't even know where Baba Yaga went, why she left things to you. She's getting old, it seems, or perhaps she thinks she has better things to do. I tell you this, Baba. I tell you this, Baba. I took the stone by force. It wasn't given to me, it was given to my twin. My twin who I killed. That was the activation cost. I had to kill. I had to kill Liesel. We gave her a German name, and that made me feel better about killing her. Kill the Germans, kill the Germans. That's what my father did, that's what his grandfather did. And before that, we were serfs. Not the fun kind. The kind living on the land. Being eaten by vampires and witches. Vampires and witches and Baba and Vadim. All of you. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away.